hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you how to cut a high-waisted palazzo pants with half elastic waistband this pants will be having an elastic at the back of the waistband please watch to the end of the video the measurement displayed on the screen are the measurements we will be needing in cutting these palazzo pants to cut, I folded my fabric into two using half of my thigh measurement, which is 25. 25 divided by 2 is 12.5 plus half inch seam allowance. I folded my fabric. I'll be cutting the front part of the pants first. I folded into two using half of my thigh measurement plus half inch seam allowance. And I've also ruled out my start line. And from my start line, I removed two inches for my band. I removed two inches for the band I will be adding to the waist. And from that start line, I measured 13 inches, which is my crotch depth. To get the crotch depth, you have to sit on a hard surface and measure from the waist to the surface of the seat you're sitting on. Or you divide your hip measurement, the hip measurement you're working with, by 4 inches and add 0 0.5 inch to that. Crotch depth I'm working with for this pant is 11 inches and since I am making a high waisted pant I added extra 2 inches to my crotch depth so I have 13 inches crotch depth. The length of the pant is 43 inches plus the extra 2 inches we added to the crotch making it 45 inches plus 1.5 inch hemming allowance. Please take note that in making these pants, we would not be needing our waist circumference measurements because we are going to be adding an elastic to the waistband. And also, we do not need the circumference of the thigh and that of the ankle since it's going to be a wide-legged um, pants. I also took the measurements from the waist to the knee length. Although this measurement is not necessary since we are making a palazzo pants, you can actually skip um, this step. On my crotch depth line, I will be imputing quarter of my hip measurement. My hip measurement is 44. 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches. Then on my hip, on my crotch depth line, I will impute half of the the half inch seam allowance I added, and then from that half inch, I will measure my 11 inches quarter of my hip measurements then i will take the exact same measurements i have on my crotch depth line and put the same exact measurement on my waistline that is 11 and a half that's 11 inches for the hip measurement quarter of the hip measurement plus the half inch seam allowance this is because i will be adding an elastic um, to the waistband so i do not need to shape the waist so i'll be leaving it as it is then i'll connect the two lines together after connecting the two lines together the two points together what i have to do is to draw out my crotch on the crotch depth line we have 12.5 inches after the half inch seam allowance that is my thigh measurement half of my thigh measurement so i'll go up on the line by two inches and then curve out for my crotch and that will be my crotch on the waistline i have added half an inch seam allowance for joining the band to the pants then on the crotch depth for the front part i'll be coming in by half an inch and then connecting it back to the side just as you see me do using a curve rule i'll be coming down by half an inch and then connecting it back to the side of the pants that means i reduced the front crotch depth by half an inch from the crotch depth line i came down by three inches and then on the three inches mark i i removed half inch from what i have on my crotch depth line i also did same on the knee line and also on the ankle line and connected everything together i removed half inch on my knee line and also half inch on my ankle line and then from the crotch line I connected to the three inches I came down then to the knee line and also to the ankle line 
on the side of the pants the other side of the pants won't be covering out anything since it's a uh, free pants we are making we'll just be slitting open the sides that's it for our front part of the pants i will just cut out and slit open the side to cut the back part i have folded another fabric into two but the width is about four to five inches bigger than that of the front part the length is about one inch longer so the first thing i'll be doing is to get the crotch for the back and for me to do that i would measure my hip measurements that is from the half inch seam allowance i'll take my hip measurement which is 11 inches and i will find the middle of that on my fabric that is 5.5 from the half inch seam allowance i'll measure 5.5 and from that 5.5 i'll put my tape on that 5.5 mark and measure another 11 inches that is from the half of the 11 inches I had on my front, I will measure another 11 inches to my back um, fabric and that will be the length for my crotch at the back and I will rule a line across like you see me do. So the next thing I will be doing will be to be adding my sewing allowances and if you notice we did not add any allowance for sewing on the front part apart from the half inch i added on the crotch line i did not add any other allowance to the front part so on the waist line i will be adding two inches allowance sewing allowance because we have four pieces i will be using half inch to join by the sides and half inch to join at the uh, inner side from the crotch down i'll keep adding the two inches allowance from the waist down till I get to the crotch line and then I would have to make a curve to get my back crotch. I'll connect from the waist as you see me do and then make a curve for my crotch at the back. I'll connect everything together. Also on the waist side, on the crotch part of the back part, I'll be going up by three quarter of an inch and connect it back to the same point i have on the front uh, pants by the side i'll connect it that means the crotch at the back i went all by three quarter of an inch more than what i have in front then the allowances from the um crotch depth line i would come down by three inches as well just like we did in front and then Add three and a half inch um, sewing allowance at that point, and then from that point, I'll keep adding three and a half inches sewing allowance down to the ankle, and I'll connect the points together. I added this much allowance because we are making a palazzo pants and we want it to be as free as possible. Then I'll go ahead and cut out the back part of our pants. I'll cut out the back part of our pants as well as cut out the half inch we came down in front by the crotch of the front uh, pants. We'll cut that out as well. That is after cutting out the back part of our pants. And something I do while cutting pants is to join from the crotch side down together as you see me do to make sure that the crotch in front and back are meeting at the same point if not i will trim out whatever excess is left when we check the the waist in front we have a measurement as much as that we have on our hip while the measurement we are working with for our waist is 32 inches so for us to get the waist to be at um, 32 inches i'll be plating the front part of my waist after joining uh, at the crotch side by half an inch i'll pleat it to 16 inches in front then for the back i'll just join the crotch like that because we'll be having an elastic at the back 
I have joined the back by the crotch by half an inch seam allowance and I also did same for the front. For the front, I did not pleat again. I decided to gather it. I, I, I used gather stitches to hold the front and then I gathered it to about 17 inches because I'll also be joining by the sides. I gathered and uh, I'm adjusting my gathers to make sure that I have up to 17 uh, at least 16 inches on on it so I gathered it to about 17 inches and then I also cut my band for the front and the back I, I cut the band, the band separately I measured what I had on the waist in, in for the back and cut my band with the length I had on the back and on fold for my band I had about two and a half inches on fold then i ironed in the seam allowances by the sides for the band then for the front band i cut out about 17 inches of length and the same width with the back and i ironed a stay on my band for the front part as you can see i only ironed uh, interfacing to the front band the band that will be in front and i cut the length i made sure i had even more than the length of um, um, the waist in front i can always trim out the xx and i also did same for the back band the back waist band i cut the length um, is more than what i needed and after joy attaching the band i can always cut out whatever is remaining what I will be doing next will be to join the front and the back part of the pants together. With the right sides facing each other, I will join the fabric right sides facing each other. I'll place the right side of the pants to the right side of the uh, of the front pant to that of the back pants. And I will use half inch seam allowance to join them together from the waist down to the uh, ankle. On the sides I'll run a stitch on two sides by half an inch and then from the crotch down also to the ankle I'll join them together by half inch sewing allowance I have joined everything together I've sewn up my trouser though I left uh, a bit at the waist side I didn't join them completely on the waist side to enable me attach my band to it so I'll be attaching my band the the front parts separately and the back part separately and i'll be attaching from the back side that is my band i'll first attach from the back side of the pants the wrong side of the pants my band my band will be touching the back the wrong side of the pants just like you you're seeing me demonstrate i will be joining from the wrong side then i will turn over and attach to the right side from the wrong side to the right side i will do it separately for both the front and the back i have attached my band to both the front and the back and i've also joined the back bands together by half inch seam allowance and i made sure that the allowance on the band aligns with the allowance on the pants then i would so also i'll be attaching using the band to cover the seam i've made in front I will be attaching the band then to the front side using it to cover the seam in front then i will be cutting out my elastic i'm using a two inch um, width of elastic and then i'll go ahead and cut out my elastic i'll make sure that my elastic stretches as much as more than half of my hip measurement since this um pants will not be having any zipper so i'll make sure that it stretches well as not to snap when um, the client tries to put it on or pull it off so i would check to make sure that my elastic stretches to at least about 27 inches or more and i'll be cutting out about 17 inches of the elastic the length of the elastic i'll be using for this will be about 17 inches um, length then I'll cut out my elastic and then sew round. I'll be leaving about um, one to two inches around the side seams to enable me pass my elastic from one side and get it to the other side of the back. I'll be passing it around. I will attach a safety pin to one end of the elastic and then pass it through the 
side the side i left opening from one side of the back i would pass it and pull it till i get to the to the other end of the uh, back part of the waist of the of the pants i'll pass my elastic till i get to the other end where i have an opening as well about one to two inches opening by the side the other side of the pants so i'll keep pulling as i put my elastic in i'll keep pulling and stretching and make sure that i pass the elastic as you see me do i'll keep moving it and stretching it making sure that the elastic is straight inside the band I'll keep on dragging till I get to the other end, to the other opening I have by the side seam, making sure I pass the elastic all through the back part. And when the elastic is remaining a little bit, I would use a safety pin also to hold it down at that other end, at the first end I started passing from, to make sure I don't pull everything in. And I'll pull till i can bring out my elastic from the other end of the opening i left um, at the other side i'll make sure i evenly spread my fabric to make sure that everything is okay then i'll bring out my elastic so when i get to the other end i will pull it a bit past the seam allowance I have by the side and then I will run a stitch to hold it down at the same side seam allowance side I will run a stitch to hold down the elastic on both sides before bringing out my safety pin after bringing out my safety pins I will run about three to four more um, stitches along the side seams to hold firmly the elastic to the band and also at the back, I'll run a stitch across the elastic at the waistband to also hold it and make sure it doesn't fold inside. So closed the space I left for passing the elastic. And that is it on how to make a palazzo pant with half waist elastic. If this video has been helpful. Please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.